If anything could divert Lily Lockwood from the helmet on her head, it's Hello Kitty. And does the hat feel OK on your head? Yeah. When I first put it on, it was a bit heavy, but now it is a... Well, that's good. Well, you're wearing it and it looks very good. <laughs> This is, and it's not very catchy, the optically pumped magnetoencephalography unit, OPM MEG. It is also, according to the scientists working on it, the most exciting development since the MRI scanner. It would be quite good, wouldn't it, to have a picture with your helmet on. So, Lily, you see this? This is a 3D camera, and it can take a picture of your head so that we know where each of these sensors is relative to your brain. 14-year-old Lily is demonstrating the helmet for Channel 4 News at the Young oh, no. Epilepsy Centre in Surrey. It is, her mum says, a marked improvement from the normal electroencephalogram or EEG brain scan. She doesn't like to have the sticky things. Like, so to an EEG, you have to have them, all, the, all these probes stuck onto your head with glue, and she absolutely hates it and ha absolutely hates having it on, taken off. But this has just changed the experience because she's in here, as you can see, she's nice and calm, she's watching something, she's preoccupied, and this is doing all what it's supposed to be doing. You carry on watching that, and I'll just take a picture of your head. So far, it's been trialled on healthy children and adults, but the results are so impressive. They'll start trials on children with epilepsy, like Lily, later this summer. We'll be able to see, you know, if it's coming from more than one region in the brain, we'll be able to see which, together with things like artificial intelligence to do the data analysis, we can then tell, you know, which part of the brain leads, um, so which one is more likely to be causing the epilepsy. Maybe, maybe people who wouldn't, currently go for epilepsy surgery, could go for surgery if you can identify which of those lesions is the one that's causing the problem. In the most simple terms, this is a brain scanner which can be used on children, the first of its kind, allowing them to be awake and moving around. But it's also about what it can see. It's really hard to describe the excitement that there is around this new technology, not just for detecting epilepsy in children, but for a whole range of neurological conditions. Footballers who've had concussion, they can follow the wave patterns in their brain. Parkinson's disease and, of course, dementia, picking it up earlier and therefore treating it earlier. Developed at Nottingham University, OPM MEG is being built and commercialised by an offshoot, Circa, using quantum technology. This is a um, magnetically shielded room. So what this does is it removes the effect of magnetic fields that are in our environment. So, um, so we can pick up those very small magnetic fields from the brain against a, a background of, of magnetic interference. Trials are also underway at Toronto Hospital for Sick Children looking at brain changes and autism. This was described to us as a game changer. Our brains are electrical. They communicate by sending tiny little electrical currents through the brain or through the central nervous system. And those little electrical currents generate magnetic fields. What we're doing is detecting those magnetic fields outside the head. And in that way, by detecting the fields, we can infer what's going on in the brain. OK, so if you want to grab that right. and just put it on your head. To fully test the device, they need brain scans from healthy volunteers okay. to compare so with that, patients. That, that, in this nice. case, I offered up my head. My task was to move my forefinger in response to a beep. It turned out I did at least have a functioning brain. Conventional scanners like MRI um, measure brain structure, so they measure what the brain looks like. But in lots of disorders, um, the brain looks pretty normal. And it's what the cells do, it's our function, our brain function, that goes wrong. And so what this machine does is, rather than taking a picture of what the brain looks like, it measures the function, so it measures what our cells are actually doing moment to moment. Are you excited? Yes. <laughs> you said that really quickly. <laughs> no, I think it is exciting. That it can be adapted to fit the heads of young children is revolutionary enough, but most of all, it is the ability to finally show the workings of our brain that opens up a world of possibilities.